Welcome back inside the United States Air Force Academy in Clune Arena where Utah State, they pull out the one point win over the United States Air Force Academy Falcons. Roland Vargas, Gene Parker. Gene, Air Force was down as many as 12 in that game. They fought, they clawed, they got their way back in and ended up losing by one. What a heartbreaking loss for the Falcons. And it's so unfortunate. We've seen so many of these at home. And I think from the coach's perspective, this is good in the sense that they can point to the little things where it's one more made free throw. It's one more layup made. It's all these little tiny things that Air Force isn't doing consistently that are costing him these games. It's it's tough if you're playing UConn and you're down by 50. You can't really beat them by, you know, it's, it's tough to do that. But in here, you see, they only had eight assists and they had 16 turnovers. You need to keep your turnovers below 12. And I think you need to be above 10 assists, especially for Air Force, as I was saying before. They are just too good of a team, have too many weapons not to move the ball and get those assists. And you see there also Utah State shooting 46%, 44 from three point line. So when Air Force wasn't pressuring them and taking the ball away, they were letting them get wide open shots. Yeah, and it's that, those statistics with those field goal percentages, as you said, that really stand out. Air Force was able to get a ton of points off of some of those Utah State turnovers, but in the end, not enough, as we'll go to the highlights here in just a moment. All second half highlights we see here, starting it will be Lindsey Jensen Baker. She was on fire in this game, ended up with 12 for the Aggies, and then out to the young Australian, Steph Gorman. She was hitting those shots all night long. And you see, it's just simple ball moving by Utah State, making sure they're there for the driver. The shooters are moving off the ball, and then you see here, Marlette doing a fantastic job. A little fadeaway three-pointer that she had was awesome. And then taking advantage on the inside, I think that was so crucial. And I'd like to see her be a little more aggressive, not necessarily forcing up shots, but taking advantage when she has um, the advantage. Yeah, and there's Kaylin Immel with that step back three. And then here's Brianna Autry Thompson. This basket right there and the and one, that's going to tie the basketball game. That was just the layup. And then that ball comes out. Here's Brianna Autry Thompson. She sees that shot. That was to get the win for Air Force. There was just 1.4 seconds on the clock when she got that basketball in, but in the end, she, she sees her so shot go a little bit long. And I think in the last two to three min minutes, Air Force did a good job of execution, especially on those inbounds plays with under five seconds to go. They did a fantastic job, but ideally, they're never in that situation and they can put Utah State away earlier. Yeah, short turnaround now for Air Force. They're back on Saturday against the Spartans of San Jose State University. Well, for my partner, Gene Parker, I'm Roland Vargas and our entire Falcon Vision crew. That includes Brian German, Grant Meach, Jason Carter, Tom Paul, Brandon Idol, Tim Saratori, Adam Drake. It's been our pleasure to welcome you in for Air Force Women's Basketball on the Mountain West Network on Stadium, where in the end, the Utah State Aggies, they win 53-52 over Air Force. Good night, everybody. We'll see you again on Saturday.